Good morning! Welcome back to Kids Time. It's so wonderful to be together again this week. It's always one of my favorite days when I get to be up front here at the playground with you. So thanks for being here. I'm Rebecca, the Children, Youth, and Family Director here at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Missoula. And today is All Saints Sunday. But wait a second. What's a saint? Do you know any saints? Well, some churches, they say that only a few super special people get to be saints. So I brought a few pictures of saints that you might recognize or maybe you've heard of before. The first one I brought with me is Saint Joan of Arc. Well, Saint Joan was really brave and was this strong leader a long, long time ago. And she was really faithful and carried God's message to lots of people and was a super strong leader. So she is a saint. Then there's this other guy named Saint Francis. And what could you guess about Saint Francis from this picture? What do you think was important to St. Francis? Well, you know, I see a lot of animals in this picture. And actually one of the cool things about St. Francis is that he loved animals and God's creation. And he was a great leader in the early church too like St. Joan was. And now here's a name you might recognize. St. Paul. It's the guy our church is named after. St. Paul was one of the very first disciples. The people who spread Jesus's message after he died and started the church. So St. Paul did a lot of really amazing things too. But those people are pretty extraordinary. I don't know about you, but I don't know that I could live up to them. They've just done so many amazing things. So does that mean that normal people can't be saints? Well, actually, in our church, in our Lutheran faith, we believe that being a saint just means that you're in heaven. So we call people who are in heaven saints. Now, do you know anybody who's in heaven? Maybe a grandma or grandpa? Maybe a great grandma or a great grandpa? Maybe somebody else in your family? Maybe a dog or a cat? or a fish or a guinea pig. Maybe somebody like Martin Luther King Jr. Or someone else who's famous who's now in heaven. Well, all of these people are saints too. And so today is really special because we take this whole day to remember those people who have died and gone to heaven. Now, how might we do that? How do we honor people who have died and gone to heaven because they're not here on earth with us anymore? We can't do the usual things that we might do to celebrate people. We're not gonna buy them presents or bake them cakes or Invite them to a surprise party? No, because they're not here on earth with us anymore. So one of the things that we can do to remember these saints, these people who have died that we have loved, and these people that have gone to heaven, is we can light candles to remember them. 
And so one of the things that we do on All Saints Day is we read a list of names of people who died in the last year. And sometimes we even light candles to help us remember their light in the world. So today, if you listened to our live streamed worship service, you might have heard that really long list of names. And I bet you didn't recognize too many of them. But those are the names of people that somebody in our church family has loved and who's died this year. And so maybe you don't know anyone who's died this year, or maybe you don't know anybody who has died at all. But I would invite you to talk to your parents. See if you could light a candle as a family to remember and honor someone who has died. Maybe it's a family member, or maybe it's just someone in the world. But doing this is a way to remember those people. And it's really important that we can do that together. Because death doesn't have to be a scary thing. People don't just forget us after we die. And today is one of those days that we get to celebrate all the amazing people that we've loved throughout our lives and people who have loved us too. So talk to your parents, light a candle, or do something else to remember people who have died. Maybe you could pick some flowers or go get a bouquet of flowers. Maybe you could pray for them, or maybe you'll light a candle. Whatever you decide to do to remember those people today is awesome. And you're joining the whole Christian church in remembering those people. And that is so amazing that we can do that together. So thank you, friends, for joining me up here at the playground this week. And I hope that you find really creative and meaningful ways to remember people that you love who've died this week. So I'm so excited to be back here with you again next week. So see you then. Have an awesome week, friends. Bye.